everyone, Samantha here. Pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm showing uh, me doing the journaling page for day 12 of 100 days of less hustle, more Jesus. And I'm already, I already did the devotional part, so I'll go ahead and read that. And then do a journaling page. I have an idea of <clears throat> what I want to do. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to hopefully just be using some alpha stickers, some ink stamp pads, and I may use some washi and a decorative flower. Um, well, a flower to decorate, I should say. So, let me go ahead and read it says, connected in him. God's presence is the shortest distance between two hearts. Just think about that. When you miss someone who's here on earth or one who has gone home to heaven, when you wish you could be there to protect a child or comfort a grieving friend, you have a direct connection with them in the spirit through prayer. It's a wonderful reminder for those of us who struggle with the, with the desire to control and protect. It's a gift to those who deeply miss a loved one or one whose heart aches for someone who's hurting. The healer, protector, comforter, and lover of our souls is here with us and there with them. All at once, all the time. When you're feeling fearful or lonely or you're longing to reach out, just take a moment to hold that person in your heart. Become aware of God's presence connecting you and rest deeply in that. Scriptures, Malachi 2.10 have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? That's the new, I uh, believe, the new Revised Standard Version, NRSV. Colossians 3.15 And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. That's the English Standard Version. And... John 14, 18, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. So I wrote here, God bless all my family and friends. Um, God, and then God is with us and for us all. Then right here, I'll be at peace. You can't, you may can't be there physically all the time, but you can say, but you can, but you sure can pray. And the last comment I wrote here, note, God is our comfort and comforts, comforts us. He is with us, right? So, um, connected with others in the spirit through prayer. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the journal page and um, share what the Lord places on my heart to share. Um, I don't know. I can't say too much right now. I don't know why, but um, I'm not going to force it. Um, I'm just going to let him lead me. So right now I'm just putting, I'm using this um, what is this? Hampton Art Ink Pad. Um, I'm just listening for the Lord so sometimes that's just what he does we want to say something and he stops us right in our tracks um, and then I don't always know 
why at the moment, but I know well enough to listen. So, um, what am I doing? I think I know what I'm about to say. This morning I was praying for someone in my heart was like really um heavy and sad for what they were going through there was a part of me that wished i could do so much more but um the case is that i can't i have to trust god with them and um it's not easy and sometimes you you literally Things literally is out of your control. And um, you have to trust God and say a prayer for them. Um, because we're not God. And sometimes we do try to play God. You know, we don't mean any harm. We just want to help them out so bad because we love them and we see them hurting and we, you know, believe that. You know, um, you know, we have the, the answer, we know what can help them. And then God is like, oh, that's not what I want you to do. I am going to read that prayer part over. I didn't take the way that I thought it would, but I want to see if I can put a little bit. I don't want too much of it through the stencil, just a little bit. Let me see. Okay, yeah, just a little bit. You know, prayer goes beyond the four walls. <laughs> you could be assured of that. Even in terms sometimes of just trying to tell someone something or offer them advice. Um, ooh, I like that. We can um, pray. And you know, not pray that they will do what we want them to do. Pray that they will do what God wants them to do. Pray that God has his way in their life for his glory. You know, you want to say it's easy to pray that somebody will do something that you want them to do. But have you prayed the will of God for their life? Have you have you prayed that they will excel in the Lord? Or are you just praying that they will do what you want them to do for you? Because newsflash. God is still not going to release them to do what it is you want them to do for you and with you until you're more concerned about their life with him. Yeah. You know, um, because um, Sometimes we can be very, very selfish, even with the people that we love. Um, we wanna, we wanna be with them. We want them to do this. We want them to do that. And God says, "You still have not gotten it. You still focus about what they're doing and not doing for you, and what they're doing wrong. And what have you prayed for their life with me?" God says, "Have you done that?" Or are you concerned about just your connection with this individual? You are connected with them. But love goes beyond what they can do and what they are to you. Pray for their life in Jesus. That's the healthy connection. Not that they'll do something for you. Not that they'll be with you. That they'll always come around you. Or you could come around them. Or 
this is this is fixed and that is fixed according to what you think for their life. God says, no, you're missing it. Now, if I gave you a divine revelation for their life, pray that into fruition. They hurt. I'm not dismissing our pain, you all. But pray for them. Our God can do more through our prayer than our words born out of maybe just fear, anxiety, worry, fretfulness. When it's not a place from God. But it's a place from, um, how can I say, not that we don't care. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we don't care or we don't love them. But sometimes, you know, when people are really close to us, even like a mother, I could be like, oh my God, you know, to my daughter, you got to do this. You got to do this. This is wrong. No, don't do that. Don't do that. And God understands that depth of concern. He does. But he said, if you move in anxiety like that to, to, to just... I'm going to set the record straight because you want so bad for her to do the right thing. And you have not consulted me on what to say. You can do more damage. Pray. Pray. Pray if I want you to say something. Pray for the words to say something. For 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 pray, pray to find out. Sorry. Pray to find out if I want you to say something. Then pray for the words to say. Pray for their heart to receive. And pray that God be glorified. And pray that they are blessed and benefit from their encounter with the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So here are some letters. I'm going to put, I think, let's see. I, put this, I think I'm going to put this blue here. I got these from the Dollar Tree, I believe, a while ago. It's real early in the morning, y'all. I'm doing this before I go to work. I said... I prayed and did some... A person of a devotional. And I was on my heart to do this because I have to be out later on today. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is put a white piece of sticker paper here. And I think I want to make this sticker paper a little pink so um oh, I'm going to first cut it out because I want to put say a prayer for them that's what's on my heart to put so this would be say a prayer and this will be for them. Okay, so I got ink on my hand. Um, I'm going to use this pink here. So as you saw, I did use the Distress Ink regular. Oh, sorry, this Distress Ink regular and this Distress Oxide. And um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and um, ink that up. But I'm going to use um, this tool here. Oopsie daisy. Got to be careful. These little tops and something like that. Come on. That's why I lay this thing down flat. Sometimes they get turned over. So. Hold on. I'm thinking about using once. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this in a little light away. Hold on. Put this here. And, um. Oops. Oh my Lord Jesus. 
but I don't want it to be too much. I don't want it to be stark pink. Oh god. I don't put a little bit. Oh, oh. That's a little bit. That's even a bit too much for me, but that's alright. Let me see what the car is gonna do. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Yeah, so um when it comes to the mat matters of the heart, it's not always easy. Um it's not you know, I complain and they're not doing anything I do and they're not. The God is like, you more concerned about what they're doing for you and according to your standards than you are about them living for me. And I find that when we operate in that selfishness, God, <laughs> we be like, why is this person? Don't they think they should be? And God is like, you still ain't got it. I know you care about them and you want to be around them and you want them to do this and you want them to do that. And you want you think they should be doing this and but you got to pray my will and my timing. And then there's a release. Okay, so say a prayer. for them. You know what? I'm going to only use one paper. I'm going to use one. And I'm going to go around this and darken it. And darken it. You know what's so funny? Oh my God. I, I thought I was like, I'm going to You know, actually, when I was reading, what the Lord just had me to share, that did come to mind. But I didn't want to say it because I think I was, like, looking at my motive. And I was also, I was like, oh, you know, I, I think subconsciously I thought it was kind of harsh. And so, I wasn't going to say it. And next thing you know, I was... He stopped me from saying the other thing and say, no, you're going to say this. You know, um, you know. And it does go back to what she was saying in, the, in her devotional that she wrote about sometimes I desire what it says. When you wish you could be there to protect a child. Or comfort a grieving friend. Um, sometimes even though to comfort, we, we have to ask God like what to say. Sometimes it's not to say anything, but it's just to pray and physically be there sometimes when we can. But it's not always something we're gonna say. And then but we sure can pray. And then it says it's a wonderful reminder for those of us who struggle with the desire to control and protect. And that's what it is. Sometimes it's, it's control. And we don't realize it because we say, well, I'm not trying to hurt this person. But God said it's still an element of control there. Um, okay, so I'm going to put something else on the back because I'm not liking that it's like right up against this. It's like it's nothing for it to, nothing for it to, um stand out on. So, I think um, this would help. Let me see if I want to put this down and then. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this down a bit. So, that means I'm still going to have to go ahead and um, use a glue stick of sorts. Yeah. I think that won't work right there. I think I'm going to layer it a bit right here. Yeah, I think like that. So let me get this glue runner. Where's that glue runner? Is that tape runner right now? Where did I put the thing? Right here. Um, the 
this is almost done. Take the picture. I'm getting ready for work. And then on my way to work, I could um, go ahead and just um, edit and upload the video. I do have to edit it because at one point when the Lord kept stopping me, I was hemming and hawing like, what in the world? Try to open up, be quiet. Try to open up, be quiet. And then finally, what did I originally tell you to say? Okay, so right now what I'm doing is taking off this sticker paper. I put that there. And I think, um, I didn't even use the letters. Look. <laughs> but I think I am going to. That was right. I, I kind of wanted to, um, put the letters. But that's all right. Um, but I'm going to, I think I know what I'll, I'll put it to here. Let me see. No, I'm going to put it off. I want to offset it. But I think I want to put a little flower or some type of something there. Um, but um, I'm going to put here, pray, with these pretty letters right here. Right here, maybe up here. P. I'm not sticking them all over. Oh my God, look at that. All right, so you know what? Let me go here. Oops. I'm gonna take this up real quick. I think I didn't mash it all the way down. Cause I didn't realize that I took the R from here. I must've used it for something else. And then I didn't realize it. Let me see something here. What's this? Okay, I do have another one. I kinda don't wanna go back and forth with the different colors with that. So I'm kind of glad this has this is right. So let me move this over. I can have P R A Y. I need some space over there. A A Y. See what I was at. You know what? I kind of don't like that. I don't like it. Let me see if down here works. Oh no. I don't. You know what? Um, I'm gonna put it over here. I don't. I don't. I, I like it. I like it plain. It, it just it's taken away from their speed and focal. So I don't want to do that. I like this back and I'm gonna find just a flower to put there. I know I have something here. Hold on one second. Okay. Let me see. So a cute. I just need a cute flower. Look at this. This is a little boot. Right. Oh, look at this. Um. This is even nice, but this would be really nice right here. So you know what? I'm gonna cut it out because I think it's part of. And then try your sticker. That's what I think. I think this right here. Yep, it sure is. And um, I'm just going to have to snip it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it. Cut it out. And then trim the rest of it. I'll put this back. And I kind of like this because it has those little polka dots there. I am going to read the prayer again. Um, and um, add to it if the Lord has me to add to it. So I'm right now, I'm just fussy cutting this out. Even a ledge part. See right here. I like this. Um, you look at the flowers. Um, 
you may see something you like in these packets, but then it's a whole bunch of other stuff with it, and so you can just trim it out. You can just trim it. That's what I'll do. And these chop brand stickers, you know, they, they have good adhesive. So, a lot of them anyway, not all of them. It's usually the, um, what is it? The, um, the washi that I have problems with when it comes to adhesive, but not the sticker itself, the other stickers. All right, and so right here. That's good right there. And I think we're just going to come right here. Come right here. And just do this. I just did that a little bit on the side there. And I'll make sure that's adhered down good. And again, I'm going to go ahead and read the prayer. And that's it. Um, Lord, it's so hard to feel far from the ones I love. Thank you for connecting us heart to heart in your presence. And I'm going to do, I am going to add something here. Um, when... I can't be near let me pray for them always in Jesus name I am a pray a so you know we are connected heart to heart I like that even if we're not always tangibly in one another's presence um, so. in the deceased we will see if they went to heaven when we go to heaven with our father God when Jesus comes back for us Okay, so that's it. That is it. Let me go ahead and date this. I just start getting ready for work. July 24th, 2019. I'm going to put the date here too. July 24th, 2019. Right. And that's it. So with that being said, I want to say... Thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.